Welcome back everybody. There's no question Pittsburgh is beautiful in all seasons, but when we can get out on the three rivers, it's especially nice. What a gorgeous shot that yes, is. Yes, it is. But if the travel bug is starting to bite and you're dreaming of good times away from home, then our first guest says consider something called multi-generational travel to create new family memories post pandemic. Yeah, Jacqueline Libel Cote is president and chief brand officer or experience officer, I should say, with Colette Travel. She is here with some great travel travel ideas for families just in time for Mother's Day. And Jacqueline, you've really learned in the past year just how important it is to embrace that time with your family, right? Oh, we've had a lot of time together, yes, uh, in the <laughs> last year. Uh, that I can that I can guarantee. Um, but it, it has its silver linings. It's been great. Yeah, I think I think a lot of us can say that there are silver linings and all of it. But as we are starting to see vaccines roll out, more and more people are getting it. Life is starting to get back to normal slowly. What are you looking forward to? Oh, definitely traveling again. I was just in Florida over April vacation with the with the kids and it had been two years. And just to, you know, be in an airport and be back out there and seeing some family while we were down there. Um, my grandmother, who's 92 years old, um, as one of them who's been vaccinated, um, it was just, you know, it felt great to get out there, but that's just one. I mean, and just to be able to cross the water to Europe again, um, there's just so much to to do and for my kids to start experiencing yeah. through travel. Yeah. yeah, and in fact, we have some pictures from, I, I guess this is your whole family. This is multi-generational uh, and you are what in Austria here? Yeah, that we were in Innsbruck there. So um, that was December of 2019. So right before we knew any of this was about to take place. So we had we did Austria and Germany as a family trip, and that was the first time that my kids actually went to Europe. Wow, and that was just a few months before the pandemic. But tell us, I mean, I know it kind of speaks for itself, but tell us more about this trend to do multi-generational travel. Yeah, this has been a trend that's been um, that we've seen over the last couple of years, to be to be quite honest. Um, you know, travel is a great educator and it's not it's not just even traveling big places like Africa or South America. It's travel even locally um, and being able to, you know, there's so much even in our own country with the national parks and Charleston and Savannah. You know, there's so many great places to go and just even experience in um, in the United States. but going internationally obviously also brings a different perspective of culture and language and different foods and it's just great for for families to be able to experience that together through with grandparents um you know with young kids and you know teenage kids I and mean, really it's just it it changes you yeah and in fact we were taking a look at some of the national parks there and talk to us about the popularity of that because that's a vacation where the entire family can go and you're not really indoors you're outside most of the time right yes uh the national parks it's honestly it's been one of our top tours for many many years um and it, it just there's so much to be able to do outside and hiking and being but really being outdoors and the beauty i don't I think you see pictures, but you don't understand the magnitude um, until you actually step foot there and see how small you are in, compar in comparison to uh, these great monuments. It's just so much fun. And I, I just I'm stuck on making new memories with your family. I mean, even if it is traveling to the hometown of your grandparents, like you said, it can be a, a great learning lesson for all of us. Um, let's talk about some music cities because some people like to head yeah. to places like Nashville. Tell us about some of those travel options. Yeah, so our Music City tour, it's, you know, Nashville, um, it's uh, so Memphis and New Orleans. So three great places with just blowing up with music. So it really has a lot to offer. Nashville has just expanded tremendously over the years. New Orleans, just just being in the French Quarter, um, the character, the beauty, the streets to, to really just and the food, um, you know, the beignets that you can get there and mm. you just see the lines wrapped around the corners and just those little bites of experiences are just, they're really fun, but to be able to to go and have lunch and hear live music, I mean, that's really what you get on, on a tour like that. Yeah. So oh, fun. Everyone I've ever heard of that went to New Orleans says you have to go. So I, I am signed up. I'm ready. That would be great. Yes. It's warm, but it's great. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you, Jacqueline. As always, we always enjoy talking with you. Thanks so much. Great to see you. All right. And our thanks to Colette for partnering with us for our new series of travel reports.
Yeah, it's great timing really with so many people raring to go after the pandemic. It's just fun to start planning trips again. Even the planning is exciting it at this is. point. Hearing yeah. your talk about it is great and check out today's trips and other travel destinations at Colette.com.